Hello you fat fucking racist League of Legends players that seem to take part in the old Roblox community. Today I'll be clearing up just why exactly there will never be a second Finobi. Why exactly? Well, you No, I genuinely want to clear this up though, solely because there's a HUGE GAPING asshole in my heart from the fact that revivals don't feel the same as Finobi Wednesday. I obviously keep covering revivals like I don't know 16 for instance that seem to be quite similar and sort of managed to give off a little bit of the same vibe. But there's obviously still quite a bunch of differences that just don't compare to an one of the main differences being the community. Sure, the community has always been a fucking toxic battlefield in old Roblox revivals. Especially Finobi being the most popular revival of all time, from what it seems at least. We obviously had to deal with toxicity back then, but it was never as bad as it is currently, right? As it was when I made all those fucking videos about it, screaming my goddamn lungs out about failed abortions. Toxicity seemed to have taken over on revivals, and it really does ruin the vibe quite a lot. The thing that had made revivals fun to begin with is the fact that you can meet so many different like-minded people that you can hang around with and have a good time with. There's some really genuine down-to-earth people on revivals, or at least there seem to be back then. Nowadays, you sort of just get screamed at for literally everything you fucking do, or you get your fucking IP grabbed by the fattest cunt imaginable that posts shitty ass shit post videos he made on fucking Windows Movie Maker and goes into my fucking comments being like, no, you're bad at editing, your content sucks. When his goddamn content by itself cleared up just why his fucking crippled cunt of a bitch ass father figure left him when he was fucking three years old. But from what it seems, all the genuine down to earth people had left once Fenomi had shut down, or even some before it happened, and it has genuinely made quite a big change in how revivals feel. I personally barely even chill around on revivals anymore, solely because I have no fucking reasons to be kept around there. Sure, I love old Roblox, but it's not exactly a fun experience when you have fucking drug dealing fan ass youtube shit post creating cunts with a fucking father about as useful as a three year old scooter kid without teeth since he kept fucking hitting his goddamn scooter into his fat face around you at all times screaming at you to stop using shake effects since he has no fucking other goals in his fucking life along with all of that the games aren't even close to being the same as they once were everyone on Fenobi used to complain about hanging out games all the fucking time but now Nowadays, especially combined with this fucking Logan Paul community, fucking hangout games are literal heaven compared to what the fuck we have on these shitty ass revivals that keep shutting down after two fucking days since some fat fucking cunt sits in his mom's bedroom while she's being thrown around like a fucking pinball and banned due to a literal bukake party being thrown. While this bitch ass is writing comments about fucking shake effects, fucking grabs everyone's IP and curses everyone out, thinking he's a fucking comedy icon. Sometimes I wish fucking Will Smith would have slapped those fucking fat asses that get their mother double penetrated while they play fucking Roblox revivals instead of Chris Rock. Jesus fucking Christ! It's genuinely extremely disappointing and sad seeing a place like old Roblox revivals that were once literally the place for me to go whenever I had nothing to do and just wanted to chill around and meet cool people and all around have a good time go downhill. This fucking band! And it seemed to have died off completely already. Literally all revivals are either shutting down extremely inactive or just fucking trash because of what has happened to the fucking community and the fact we'll never have a second Fenobi since everyone that was once cool on there fucking seemed to have jumped off the fucking roof either right after it shut down or before it shut down even. Where the fuck are the banger games like Bronx Where are all the legendary fucking games that were once so goddamn fun to play and just chill around on? Where the fuck have all the fucking nice people gone and it made it fun to begin with? Where where did all this fucking hope go? I've personally lost all hope in the old Roblox community and old Roblox revivals. I will always continue to play them and try my best to have fun on them, but I also really fucking hate it at the same time. I somewhat miss all the good people I once met that can't seem to be found anymore, and I miss the times I would just hop on and actually have a good time, instead of feeling like I should do something else right away when I'm not with friends. Rest in peace, Fenomi man, it's almost been an entire fucking year since it's shut down already, and I might even take a look at all 
all the games they made on the Fenobi Roblox group, and even include a game that me and an old friend had worked on. You know who you are, man. Love you. I'll genuinely always cherish and miss the times we had on that website, the friendships that it brought with it, the people it brought together, the games that it caused to be created, and so on. Thank you all for everything, and thank you for making it such a great time. Well, that's basically it, you fat fucking Fortnite playing piece of junky shit! Thank you for watching my content and listening to my dumb shit. Consider supporting me and my channel, and maybe you could leave your personal opinions about this topic or start whole conversations in the comments. And maybe tell me your personal experience with Roblox Revivals. I'll catch you in the next video, stupid goodbye, man, stupid bitch, fucking fuck you! <laughs>